Hi everyone, it's NetFQ here and welcome to another EVE Online video. Today I'd like to take you on a walkthrough of how I do the Sancha War Supply Complexes, which are the DED 6 out of 10 rated sites. I'll be using my trusted Rattlesnake with Thermal Cruise Missile so I can take advantage of the Thermal Damage Bonus the Rattlesnake gives you. Right, so let's get on with it. As you can see, I activated the acceleration gate that will take me to the first room. So here we go. When I warp into the first room, I stop my ship and target the Sanchez Corpse Collector. There's no point deploying my mobile depot because the Corpse Collector doesn't drop any loot. I then take out my Sentinel drones and then blat the Corpse Collector down with my missiles and my drones as quickly as possible. I then target all the small cruisers and frigates and take them down with my missiles and my Sentinel drones in order. So I normally have my drones on one target and my missiles on another one with the target painter. That seems to be the most effective way to get them down as quick as possible. The next thing I do is start targeting the battleships. Now I select these in a specific sequence, so when I deploy my heavy drones to take care of them, the drones don't have that much travelling time to do between targets, and that helps speed up getting them down. Right, once all the frigates and cruisers are down, I then scoop up my sentinel drones to my drone bay and then deploy my heavy drones. I then start making my way to the product park acceleration gate. Now this is the one that's pointing up. Now I don't go to the supply depot, which is the one pointing down, because there is no overseer in that room. So it's a bit pointless going to it. So I always go to the product park that does have an overseer in it. Now this is one thing you need to watch for in this first room. And that's when you deploy your heavy drones, the battleships sometimes do target your heavy drones. The best thing to do is return your heavy drones to the drone bay and wait for the battleships to start targeting your ship again. Once they do that, you can safely deploy your drones again and then go after the battleships in order with your cruise missiles. If you've timed it right, by the time the last battleship is destroyed, you should be pretty close to the acceleration gate, at which point I return my drones to the drone bay and reload my cruise missiles. I do this before activating the acceleration gate. In room 2, which is the product park, I immediately stop my ship and target the True Creations Park Overseer, which is a battleship. I also deploy my mobile tractor unit just in case that overseer drops any loot. 
I take out my Sentinel drones and along with my cruise missiles, I start firing at the Overseer. Once the Overseer has been destroyed, I check to see if it's dropped any loot. If it has dropped loot, I wait for my mobile tractor unit to scoop it up. In the meantime, I always return my Sentinel drones to the drone bay because they will get targeted and they'll go down pretty quick if you don't return them to the drone bay. As you can see, the Overseer dropped a True Sentra Energized Adaptive Nano Membrane with a value of about 67 million ISK. Not bad. I then move the valuable loot to my cargo hold and scoop up my mobile tractor unit. I then align to the acceleration gate and then hit my micro jump drive. This is the quickest way to get the, to the gate because as you can see it's about 62 kilometers away and it will take a very long time to slow boat over there. So using your micro jump drive, you get there pretty quickly and as you can see I've only landed 13 kilometers away. So it's not going to take long at all to approach it and jump through. This third room does contain another Overseer, so just like the second room, I target the Overseer, I then deploy my tractor unit just in case it drops any loot, and my Sentinel drones, and try and take down the Overseer as quickly as possible. And just like the first room, I then go after all the small frigates and cruisers and take them down as quick as I can with my cruise missiles and my sentinel drones. As with the second room, I always check to see if the overseer dropped any loot. In this case it hasn't, so I immediately scoop up my mobile tractor unit to the cargo hold just in case I forget to do it later. For the frigates and destroyers which are closest to my ship, I always use my heavy missiles along with the target painter to take them down. I just use the sentinel drones on everything else that's um, further away. And unlike the second room, you do have to destroy all targets within this room to activate the next acceleration gate. Once all the cruisers and frigates have been destroyed, I do target one of the battleships that is closest to me and use my sentinel drones and my cruise missiles on it. It just works out that if you do it this way, by the time you do get to the acceleration gate, all the other targets should be destroyed. As with the first room, I then start targeting all the battleships in a specific sequence so when I deploy my heavy drones, they don't have to travel that far between targets. This helps to speed up taking them down. And if you time it right, by the time you slow boat it to the acceleration gate, you should have them all down.
Once the last battleship's been destroyed, I recall my drones, and as you can see, I'm pretty much at the acceleration gate, so it's worked out nicely. In this fourth and final room, the only thing you need to do is destroy the Overseer. Now as with the second and third rooms, I deployed my tractor unit because you will get loot here. And I deployed my sentinel drones and just target the Overseer and try and get it down as quickly as possible. Once the Overseer has been destroyed, you'll want to return your Sentinel drones to the drone bay because they will be targeted and there's no point using them. And uh, yeah, just sit back and wait for the mobile tracker unit to tractor in the Overseer's loot. And as you can see, the loot gods have been kind to me on this run. So all in all, I got 5 Sentium A-type drops along with their true censure drop and of course the 19th tier overseas personal effects the list of loot will be in the description of this video below in total it's about 1.7 billion esk worth of loot and that is the ded 6 out of 10 site complete hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video and until the next time fly safe and bye for now